and happy Monday. I'm a wee bit later today because V Live has kind of changed things up, and so I had to wee bit of a learning curve on figuring out things. Here we are on Monday doing our usual check in with the Letting Go Guidance System to see what can we focus on letting go of this week. And today is the last day of September. It's been an amazing month of, of getting clear on what what things are, are best left in 2019 and moving forward because we actually have three months now left in 2019. Now, the other part of where we're at at the moment, and just as I'm talking, if you're here, say hi. Hi, Samadhi. Good morning. Nice to see you here. Um, so just come into this present moment with me. Take a nice deep breath. And I'm shuffling the cards because we're kind of coming into this present moment and looking at what is the thing that we need to let go of as we say goodbye to September. Acknowledge the gifts and the learning. But you know, the other part of what was going on right now, and we're still in the, the energy of it, on the 28th, we had the final super new moon of 2019. Now, a new moon is a great time for setting intentions, kind of reviewing where you've come from, because it's a time to, that we're actually starting to come out of darkness, if you like. And a super new moon is um, furthest away. It's a new moon that's furthest away from from Earth, and it's it's actually not seen by us here on this planet. And so this is a really nice time to really look inside, look within, and set your intentions. Set your intentions for kind of like the next six months or so. So I encourage you to do that. Just, just um, look at where do you want to be? What, what do you want to create? And as always, come back to you know, putting your hand over your heart, coming into the present moment, taking nice deep, nice deep breaths. And so as we're doing that, like I said, um, generally speaking, when we have a phase of the moon, we have we are affected by it two days before and two days after. Good morning, Ruthann. Nice to see you here too. Um, so we, like I said, we are still under the effect of that. So if you haven't set your intentions um, using that energy of the moon, you still have time to do so today. So all that being said, so let's say if you do, if you are getting clear on your intentions of what you want to do, where you want to be, and like I said, we're just going to look in the next three to six months. What do we have to let go of in order to more fully shine our light? This is funny. More fully shine our light and be who we truly are. And what we have to let go of is the past. No accident why that one came up. So I was just saying that, right? So as we look at we have three months left of 2019. We're setting the stage for some really big energy, some really good integration in 2020. And so what intentions can you set to basically let go of what's maybe not a part of you anymore? That, that it's actually, um, you know, it's, it's time to start to maybe taking an inventory of the gift, the lessons, the learning, and say, thank you. I'm moving on. I'm going on, on my my trajectory as a soul. You know, the other part about that card that I just pulled, the past, the energy of it is, a tw the, the number of it is 27, which is a nine, which is completion. Numerology-wise, it's completion. So really letting go of some big stuff here. So I really, really encourage you to, to journal, to watch the thoughts that are going on in your head, to have gratitude for everything that you've created to get to where you are. Yeah, I know. Somebody saying I'm wearing the moon. So I was out at a, a, a trade show on on uh, Saturday, and on one side was beautiful jewelry. So I got new jewelry, of course. And then on the other side was a, a, a lovely girl doing resetting glasses. So I got my glasses adjust, adjusted. It was a great day. Okay, so see how this lands for you, this idea of letting go of the past. Is it ruminations? Is it judgment? Is it, um, it could even be um, re relationships that don't serve you anymore or don't support you anymore. So see what happens or what bubbles up to the surface for you when you when I say to you, it's time to let go of the past. So, and then I'm going to read this out for you too. So it says, 
stop living in the past. There is absolutely nothing to gain if you wallow in mistakes you have previously made. We have all experienced hurt. You can't be a grown-up today who hasn't experienced some emotional pain or kind of some kind or another. It's important what you do with that hurt. That it that it's more important what you do with the hurt than it, than the hurt itself. Would you prefer to get back to being an active participant of your life, or do you prefer to ruminate endlessly about the past and something that cannot be changed? Take past mistakes or challenges as lessons learned and move forward. You cannot wholeheartedly move on to a better future if you're constantly looking behind you, right? Constantly looking over your shoulder. Things happened and that's that. It's time to move on. Take a deep breath and choose to move forward with grace and ease. Things don't disappear on their own. You need to make a, the commitment to let it go. If you don't make this conscious choice up front, you could end up self-sabotaging any effort to move on from this past hurt. And you know, as I was reading that out to you, I was thinking about a conversation that I had with somebody recently who this person was very, very stuck in the idea that happiness is something that happens outside of her and it has to be chased and that it's actually predestined. My feeling is that it's more chosen. It's it's chosen. So this idea of the past, if you have a hurt or a or something that, that you feel is a mistake and, and you're having a problem letting go, then you are creating what you're feeling in the moment because you're ruminating or telling that story. Whereas you could choose and make the commitment to yourself of, okay, I didn't like what happened there, or I didn't like that situation. This is now. And so really watch the stories that you're telling yourself about who you have been and who you are becoming. It's really a good time to be having this kind of conversation. Like I said, let's use that energy of the moon to um, let that go. Let the stuff that's not serving you or serving the, the greatest version of you, who you are becoming. So just shuffled the tarot cards because I've like I've been in, enjoying doing with you with these little mini readings to start our week off is we pull one tarot card and then I pull two of the angel cards. And so look at this. This is perfect. It's the magician that's come up. So the magician is a reminder that you have everything that you need within you. So you know this idea of letting go of the past. It's not like you have to hold on to something and you have to redo it or you have to get something outside of you. So maybe this is time and this is great energy with the, the, that super new moon also to recognize, acknowledge the gifts, the insights and the tools that you have to tell a different story, to really let go. I just feel, really feel this is like a real stripping off any, of any darkness or anything that's holding you back from really truly stepping in, stepping up, and shining your light really fully. So that's what we're all working towards doing, isn't it? Just breathe that in. So we're letting go of the past. We're reminding ourselves that we're a magician. You know, the other thing about the magician is have some fun. I encourage people, if they're really feeling stuck, go, go to like the dollar store and buy a little magic wand or something to remind yourself you have that power. You have the power to, like, let's say you're stuck in a ruminating or, or beating yourself up about something. You have the power to just say, okay, it's done. Use the way of that, that wand. You've been getting the, the magician. I can't see all of your comments there, Samadhi, but uh, yes, you need to start believing in the power of the magician. It is a very, very powerful teacher. Uh, so it's like you're channeling your inner teacher. Um, and embodying the wisdom of what you already know, what you already have. Hi, Sonia. Nice to see you here, too. Just pulling three angel cards to go with. We're letting go. We're working on letting go of the past today, Sonia. And as always, these three cards always really line up with what, what we're, we've been talking about. So harmony. So this is the... When we let go of the, the past, we can get into harmony with what our soul's calling is, what our higher self is kind of tapping ourselves on the shoulder and saying, let's go or let's become. And 
by getting that harmony, it's a new beginning. Isn't this perfect? New beginnings. So remember I said at the beginning, use the energy of that super new moon that we had on, on September 28th and just set some intentions. You can just write some commitments or intentions. What do you want to create? Who do you want to be? Who are you becoming? Work on being more of an open vessel to receive all of the support. We all, we have um, divine guidance. We have support all around us. And sometimes when we get really stuck, it's because we're in our head. We feel like we have to resolve everything and we don't take a deep breath and let go of what we could maybe be saying, okay, guides, angels, universe, whatever your feeling is about that. Maybe sometimes we have to surrender parts of that ruminating about what we've done could have done uh, better in the past. So letting it all go. I wish you a wonderful week. I hope this helps you and keep me posted. Samadhi says number one is or procrastination. I know, procrastination. And we've talked about procrastination before on these little mini sessions. That, um, talk with procrastination. Use some of that magician energy with procrastination. Sometimes it's because you're not meant to do something and something better is along coming around the corner or sometimes it really is because you're playing small and you need to push push through to it so ask the energy of the magician to help you blast through that so thank you for watching and i will be here with you next week i wish you a wonderful week and let go of the past